If you're thinking about starting a career in tech, that's a question that you're gonna hear over and over again. Do you have Security Plus? And you're probably thinking, wait, Security Plus, what? It's one of the most well-known certifications for breaking into tech. But here's the thing. This video is not about Security Plus. It's about something way bigger. The company behind it and what no one tells you about their multiple tech career pathways. By the end of this video, you'll have a clear picture on how to start in tech without wasting time in the wrong certification or down the wrong path. Hey, they are here and a tea professional with over 16 years of experience in the government healthcare industry and with over seven of those in health IT. I have a bachelor's degree in cybersecurity and multiple industry certifications. As always, chapter will be below. Let's dive right in. There are multiple ways to start a career in tech, but one name comes up again and again, CompTIA. But what is CompTIA? CompTIA is short for the Computing Technology Industry Association. It's a globally recognized nonprofit organization that provides vendor neutral IT certifications. Their certification validates skills in IT support, networking, cybersecurity, cloud computing, and more, helping professionals at all levels advance their careers. But here's what most people don't realize. CompTIA has different pathways you can take, and they even break it down for you in their website. Let me show you what I mean. All right, here is the CompTIA career pathway. I'll drop all the links in the description and the comments so you don't have to take notes, so don't worry about it. Okay, all CompTIA certs align with a field in IT, as you can see here, infrastructure, cybersecurity, data analytics, and um, some other certifications. Now the core foundations, like I like to call it, are right here. These are the core skills or core foundation certifications. As you see, ITF is your first one that it's like the beginner's certification, foundational certifications according to CompTIA. This one is to get familiarized with um, basic IT knowledge and skills, and um, it's, it's really, really beginner friendly. Next on the list is actually CompTIA A+. So it's actually the certification that I started with uh, when I started my uh, journey in IT. Now, if you're brand new to IT, this is the one that I recommend, non-biased at all, but it's because this is the one that I started with. I actually did a video a while ago that kind of covers the two certifications. So if you want to go check it out, um, I'll leave it in the comments below. Now then it's Network Plus, which in my opinion is just the backbone of IT. Everything connects to network. So to me, uh, this is really a crucial certification. And lastly, in the core skills, it's um, Security Plus right here. Security Plus, CompTIA Security Plus. Uh, which is a beginner cybersecurity certification. But let me tell you something. A lot of people think that Security Plus is a beginner cert. And while it's technically an entry level certification for cybersecurity, it's definitely not a walk in the park. So let me explain. It is regarded as an entry level certification and most jobs require it. But no one tells you that if you have zero experience in IT, this test is going to be tough. That's why it's not listed here at the beginning um, as the beginning of this core skills path. This means you need to have a core basic understanding of tech. As a matter of fact, I think it's critical to just start from the bottom up and this uh, CompTIA core skills pathway, it's pretty, pretty solid foundation. I actually recommend all the individuals that approach me about starting in tech to just get that core knowledge foundation and start from the bottom up. It can not only just help you accelerate to Security Plus faster, but it will make your resume stronger because now you have these other certifications in this core knowledge. Now, if you wanna know five reasons you should get Security Plus, I also did a video on that and I'll leave it in the comments below. Okay, moving a little bit deeper on the certifications that CompTIA offers. Let me show you a few things that caught my eye. Here, you can change the job categories and kind of like look for it depending on the role that you're looking for. Well, let's just leave it as view all. Let's start with the first thing that I think is news to me and is this CompTIA Tech Plus. And I was looking at this and I'm like, why there's something between ITF Plus and A plus, so I definitely needed to investigate this. But this one is not listed in the core um, path, 
but what I did some reading and what I found out is this certification is actually replacing ITF plus. And when you scroll here, you start seeing, um, it's the same concepts and, um, domains that ITF plus. And in addition to that, it explains here that on Aspire ITF plus certification exam and vouchers can be used for this tech certification exam. So even though it doesn't plain say it, that it's going to replace it to me, that's pretty much what is happening here. Now, let's go back to the cert screen real quick. As you see here, CompTIA has certifications for everything like uh, the cloud, uh, Linux, um, it has server certifications and some other advanced uh, cybersecurity certifications. One thing that I want to mention is that there is multiple companies that offer like different types of certifications, but honestly, CompTIA has a pretty good system here. Now, the other thing that caught my eye is this, um, it's right here, CompTIA Security X. And I'm like, CompTIA Security X? It says that it's an expert level certification for security architects and senior security engineers charged with leading and improving an enterprise cybersecurity readiness. So I actually have to take a double take of this because to me, it sounds like CATS Plus and an advanced cer certification for cyber. So right here, it looks like, yes, uh, formerly CATS Plus, CompTIA Security X is going to be the new name that is going to be replacing CAS Plus. And there are some comments here on why and what is going to happen. So um, you guys can go check that out. And if you have CAS Plus or you're interested in that certification. One other thing, like this is a great way for you to not waste money and save some time. So definitely come back and check this out. Okay, before I move to the next section, have you heard of our Discord community? I recently created a Discord to connect with you. In there, I am active and I answer questions, I post things and just helpful information and resources just for you. And who knows, maybe one of these days I'll take one of those questions and put it in one of the videos. Let's see. So go check it out. And if you like this video, you know what to do. Just hit it below. Okay, so we've seen the career pathway and certifications that they offer. Now let's actually explore the, some of the roles that you can expect with these certifications. In this page, you can see these fine people and each of them have a, a role that you can be doing. Let me show you how cool is this. When you click on them, you actually get a little bit of an explanation of the role and some really, really cool, important information. Well, at least I, I thought it was cool and valuable information right here with everything that it has and the salaries and things like that. This can definitely help you pick a track or a field in IT. And even though it's a very high level overview, it can give you something to work with. Now, if you want to dive a little bit deeper and these are not interesting to you, check out my ultimate guide to break into tech that has 12 paths you can take in IT. He explains what it is, how to start, and it's full of nuggets to help you decide and get started today. Now, these two other pages that I'm going to click on has some other helpful information that can help you continue on and explore a little bit more on your future goals. And this one right here um, is a, it's a structured path uh, with lines and kind of like a roadmap that I think is cool because I like lines and I like I'm a visual learner. So to me, this is pretty cool. I'm actually going to leave all the links below so you can um, have it and you can download it and explore further so it can help in your career. Now, I am not sponsored by CompTIA. And yes, there are multiple ways to skin a cat. All I'm saying is this. This is info I wish I knew when I started. And hopefully, now that you see the full picture of CompTIA's career pathways, you can make a smarter plan to start and decide what route you want to pursue and not waste money and time. It's all laid out for you in the CompTIA website. And I'll leave all the links below. Now, hold on. Let me ask you, do you know what your resume needs or is missing to land a high paying job? And I am talking six figures here. If you don't, well, I did the research for you. Check this video out, which breaks down the jobs that are most in demand, the top skills employers are looking for, and the cherry on top, a free resource with a hundred real job postings with key info to help you land your dream job. I hope this info was helpful. See you in the next one. JR out. Yes.